Check out the results. Wow. Look how awesome that came out. Here's the original. Here's the 3D printed version. And it looks fantastic. All right, this isn't as easy as everybody else makes it look. However, there's one more setting we can try, and that's using these markers, which keep track of positioning. So we're adding a few markers to our surface along with the turntable. Then we placed the part in the center of the turntable and started scanning while rotating the turntable. The markers made a huge difference. We were able to get full green scan and we used the export function to transfer the project to our computer because we didn't have enough resources on our iPad. Now the file is ready to be exported to an STL file which we can use in our 3D printing software. Now we just import that file into our 3D printing software. And there you go, it's looking pretty good. You can see that a lot of the markings that were on the scanned one were cleaned up on this one. The real question is, how is it gonna do with even larger parts?